Hey guys, we're here at the back of the bus and Randy's been working on it today. We have a modification, right, to our... Well, so I've been working with a consultant on how to do the solar stuff and 1200 watts was really the sweet spot. So I bought two more solar panels once he told me that. We had a thousand watts. So I bought the two more that's how we planned that all along was to have that up there but to put the other two we had to do something different and stay below i wanted to make sure we stayed below the high spot back here so it worked out pretty cool because I, we just bent up these brackets and these will just hinge up now and we're gonna and then they bolt down there so this is a pair that's going to be wired together and We'll just put this gland on back here just the way it was intended. So we'll put this gland back here and uh, we'll use this grommet. So all they got to do is drill a hole and put that grommet in it, run the wires through, and then seek to flex that thing down whichever direction we decide to orient it. I don't think it really matters that much. And then it'll come down in the closet behind the Murphy bed and we'll use our racetrack. Raceway. Or the, excuse me. We'll use the raceway to get the wires up to the box. So from the... You're, you're seeing our um, bus stripe. <laughs> yeah. We haven't crawled up on top and painted our stripe yet. <laughs> That's to prove we were a school bus once, right? Right. So I measured inside and we're 16 inches over from this marker light. So in here, and we could be up to 20 inches from the back. So I would say we'll just take it in right now. Yeah, you guys, ne neither one of us like putting holes in the bus. I know, I'm like, I thought we were done putting holes in our bus. Now this guy has a little lip on it, so. ahead and put the wires through before we mm -hmm. screw that down. Mm -hmm. Okay guys, um, let's go see where we came out in here. Okay, so I stuck a light up here so you guys can see, but um, we came in, we were trying to get behind this board and we didn't want to hit the support bar for it. the back of the bus, but there we go. That's where we came in, perfect spot. So then we'll drop those wires through and we will just run them through here and use the raceway going down there to the box. Okay, so now we're going to use this raceway that we built in the bus the whole time. And pull these wires back to the back and then They'll follow this and plug in right there. And I don't think we don't want to jump in and come over here because we can already see the towels and everything are going to be. But anyways, just keep it uniform. Yeah, keep it nice and clean. Yeah. All right. So here's our here's the raceway we're going to follow down. It goes up behind there. Do you want me to take it behind this black thing? There's the black. And we'll just zip tie to it. Okay. Okay, it's going up. There it is. All right, let's go push the black one through. Okay, one more. Okay, guys, we're up here.
Okay, so all our positives are red. And the front panels, we've been pulling the positive off the front. So this will be 11 and 12 back here, right? Yeah. The front one will be 11 and it's a positive and one will be 12. These two guys are going to get we can zip, zip tied, yeah. Zip tied around this leg. And these are tapped for bolts to hold them down. So all we got to do is zip tie this and bolt that. In. Yeah, and I stick a couple zip ties, the little ones, in here. Yeah. Okay. All right. What's up, YouTube? Hey, since I'm in the shop here and I got the uh, lift, it's the perfect time to measure the top of the bus. So you know, because of our skylights, we have a high point right here. So I always wanted the bus to be under 12.6 so that I could go under a 12.6 uh, underpass, overpass, whatever. So this 2x4 is leveled off the rail here. So this measurement right here is 12 foot 2 and a half inches. 12 foot 3 is our rough height. So that's awesome. Okay guys, we're back outside in our spot and we are so grateful for the time that we had in this shop. And it feels so wonderful to have all 12 of those solar panels mounted up on top of our bus. So now we just have to wait some, for some additional components to come in so we can hook up our solar system and, um, and then we'll just go from there. So we're gonna just end the video here and know that we love sharing the journey with you guys all and feel your love and support and look forward to all of the comments and it just means the world to Randy and I both. So um, love to you all and we will catch you in the next one. Bye!